Uh, my name is Chris Gustafson, and uh, I run the business Vintage Window Restoration. I'm working on window unit. If you look at the proposal document, which likely you probably won't, um, window unit 2B. 2B. So, uh, the reason why we are working on this is because during a uh, window workshop that I hosted, we found a um, deficiency on the bottom sash window. The bottom rail was completely rotted and uh, fell apart when it was extracted. So we developed the project phase and investigation to do the restoration of the windows, which is on the entire south facade. And so far we came up with the funding to do two windows out of the five. So this is one of the worst, so we did the worst first. Uh, let's see. So first we extracted the window units without any damage to the historic fabric and then we packaged them ready for transportation and then we evaluated the area surrounding the window jam on the exterior and we removed the excessive paint buildup and a filling compound that turned out to be food for plants and bacteria and fungus so uh, we removed those and did some epoxy treatment on the jam I used a CPES 106 from Rot Doctor out of Salem, uh, Seattle, Washington. And so we did the treatment in the areas with minor rot. Uh, we did not do any Dutchman's except for a full sill replacement, which was non original, which was probably replaced when they initially moved this house onto its current location. Um, I used in kind wood species uh, with the proper growth ring per inch so it's all within secretary standards and then I treated it with penetrate epoxy to seal it to preserve it for longer than if it was installed without any sort of preservative treatment so installed it that way um, we pried out the interior casings so that we could remove the stool to have access to the sill so we didn't have to do any cutting whatsoever we did not do any sort of removal of historic fabric um, fortunately, the windowsill was heavily rotted, so it gave way without problem. It did not break, um, but uh, it was great to have the nails exposed. And so um, I backed those nails out. I replicated the windowsill to go back in its place, and I fastened it with stainless steel screws so it can be extracted. Um, so the screws can be backed out. They're easy to access. Um, one there, one there, and a couple from underneath. So you can access it all from the interior. It's very secure. And then that is where the sill is set and all the casing went back into place. I took out the exterior casing. There's one here that's not there. Well, it's in my hand. <laughs> awesome. I love when I talk when I work. Um, anyway, so these were packaged and taken to the shop. Uh, it is the same historic fabric. Um, I removed all the paint buildup that was causing some deterioration of the wood. Um, when I had bare wood, I treated the back and the sides of it, which are not exposed to the outside, with pine tar mixed with uh, organic boiled linseed oil. So it's a very heavy wood preservative, natural. Uh, that way it'll allow the wood to breathe. It's anti-insecticide, so it keeps the insects and the fungus out. So this is a good preservative for the backing to, prever to preserve it for a longer duration. Um, and then on the exterior and the exposed face, I use a light pine tar with mostly boiled linseed oil on this face. And then I used um, organic linseed oil paint out oh, of good stuff. So all the casing that was extracted was given the same treatment with the pine tar and the linseed oil. And then the window sash, all the paint was removed. The process was documented. Um, well, let's go to a window. Let's do that. So here's the top sash. We removed the sash pin, fixed it, and then we removed all the old paint to expose the wood and the wood fibers. Um, and then we took the glass out, we cleaned out the rebates, removed all the paint from the interior, we documented that process with all the different colors that were applied, and then we cleaned the glass, 
we replaced any plate glass with historic wavy glass, which was to that era. And we treated the oil depleted woods with um, organic boiled linseed oil and we painted it with Albac linseed oil. And the glazing putty is Sarco Type M, which is a traditional linseed oil glazing putty. So they were preserved. And, and the linseed oil is going to allow it to, the wood to breathe while it's out there? or Right. Yeah. So it allows it to breathe. It doesn't seal it off like um, epoxies. So that way, if water does get past the preservative layer, the water can get back out with epoxies. Um, if it gets behind it, it has a very hard time to escape. About how many layers of paint would you estimate you pulled off? Uh, there's 10 to 12. Yeah, it was very well painted. Oh yeah, we had, I don't know if it was an egg paint or not, but on the interior it had this color as a base, and then there was a red paint on it that had alligator or split, and that's kind of, I believe that's common to egg paint, so like, it was like a brick red egg paint that was applied to the interior. And then over time, they applied another off-white, and they applied a gray, then they applied a blue, and then there was like a, an evergreen green. And then um, they went back to the beige color. And this is the earliest color that I found. And so I went with that and 